Welcome back everyone to TV5 News at 9. So real estate is going through some changes. So joining us this morning to tell us all about it, we have Monique Gilbert from Team Matchmaker. Monique, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. It's our pleasure. So you at home can follow along by scanning the QR code that you see on your screen right now. So of course we want to talk about changes to real estate. Monique, what are the changes and who are they affecting? Well, there are some really big changes and they really are affecting realtors who are very much in a scramble mm. and um, and buyers and sellers so the whole gamut so there are a couple of settlement settlements that are in process that we are having to make the changes kind of on the roll okay so there are a lot of people who are panicking um, and a lot of people I see on social media who are buyers and sellers wondering what in the world is this that's happening what is this agent telling me this can't be true yeah but it is <laughs> okay all right so what should realtors know well, realtors should know that they need to follow the rules, right? So okay. it's a big change. So in the past, we have um, always had the, the the seller brokerage fee has been shared. We've had the system called the MLS system, right? Okay. And so we could see uh, what the compensation was anytime we looked up a property, mm -hmm. right? Um, that has gone away. And so our system, which was actually created for that purpose, is no longer in existence for that purpose, right? So. We have to pick up the phone every time we're going to show a home um, and figure out what the compensation is. And the, the reason that's so important is because sellers aren't required to pay compensation and we're required to have a contract with our buyers now. Right. And our buyer could be footing the bill if they don't have a realtor who can get that negotiated for them. Um, so you may not want to see a house if you don't know whether or not you have to pay yeah. <laughs> your agent for their services. It's kind of just throw like a jam into the whole system, the whole process of it? Yes. So you guys are <laughs> trying to navigate it then, huh? Yes, okay. and, and it seems there have been a lot of different changes and um, a lot of people that really don't know. I am very thankful that um, I have a brokerage who has been very on top of everything. We have mm -hmm. a great managing broker. I am a broker as well and I love to read, so I have read the entire settlement. It will put you to sleep, but, um, but yeah. So we have to know, um, one of the main things is for buyers, in order to take a buyer through a home, they have to sign a paper now. Mm -hmm. You could not call me and say, hey, I saw this house on Zillow, I want to go see it, without signing a paper. Okay. And that is a really big change. It's not a big change in Michigan to have buyer representation. If you technically don't sign a paper with me, I'm working on behalf of the seller, even if I'm not the listing agent. Okay. That has always been the case. But now, by the settlement rules, you have to sign a paper with me before we can even enter a home. Okay purpose of these changes you said for this settlement is that really the reason why yes yeah, so what what the point of it is supposed to be mm -hmm. is for transparency okay okay so it's to bring up a conversation of this is what I this is what my charge is and these are the ways that we can negotiate it right okay. um, and then also to avoid a different kind of steering not fair housing kind of steering but um, with people saying, well, you may not have showed me this house because it was only X percent versus Y percent. In reality, I'm going to have to know that before I go into the house anyway, mm -hmm. or you're probably going to want me to know that if yeah. you're my buyer, right? Um, so it's really going to separate the people who know how to negotiate yeah. and know what the rules are versus the order takers. I understand. Is that some of the disadvantages that you could see from these changes? Some of the disadvantages are going to be buyers who don't have a lot of liquidity. Okay. Okay. Because if the seller is not being uh, offering compensation and they don't want to negotiate it, you know, you're putting in an offer. So either the buyer has to come up with more cash out of pocket on top of their down payment and their closing costs mm -hmm. um, or they have to roll it in as a concession so that's one of the things that has changed is that loan structures have allowed for buyers to roll in more concessions so if you were buying a home for 200 you might now offer 206 yeah. and have a percentage of that go toward your buyer agency representation 
The issue there is, is that you now own a $200,000 home and you owe 206. And so um, it's going to take you a lot longer if you're not in the home as long as what you thought you might be. Right. You know, it can be a disadvantage. Man, okay, is there somewhere like we can, like, if we are interested to find more about the settlement specifically or these changes, do you know where we could find that? So. There is a page being built on my website okay. for all of that. Perfect. Um, but also you can go to the National Association of Realtors okay. um, and they do have some consumer facing, finally, um, literature that talks about the changes for um, buyers needing to have some type of paper signed. It can be for a day, it can be for a specific property, it can be whatever. You may sign a whole new paper every time you go into a house, Okay. right? <laughs> or if you have a good relationship with your buyer agent, you can sign one and, and everything is negotiated. Okay. But yes, National Association of Realtors or Michigan Association of Realtors does have some consumer guides for both home sellers and for home buyers. Very good. All right. And don't forget, if you're just joining us, this QR code you can scan on your screen to get directed to all the information that we covered today. Monique, anything else you want us to know? I want people to know that it's really important who you hire. You know, don't go for the cheapest thing. Yeah. Know that somebody has your back, somebody is working on your behalf, and that they are providing the services that you, that are important to you. Monique, thanks for coming in this morning. This has been Thank great. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So you can get more information, of course, on this topic by going to our Hot Links section on our website at WNEM.com.